whoa, whoa. We are back to check off another movie, Explore Through Your Homegirl's Eyes. As you guys see by the title, this is Misery. So let's get into it. I hope I like it. I hope it's entertaining. Um, let me know down in the comments how you guys feel. If you could rewatch it, what was your best scene? What made you love it? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, so this is rated almost a good 80%. With that being said, let's see what the hype is about. Let's see what the hype is about. It came out in 1990s. Ooh-wee. Ooh, 107 minutes long. I do have the Patreon, but on, of course, on YouTube, it does have to be different. Or they will strike me, they will block me, and you guys won't see nothing from your homegirl. Okay, so go join me on the Patreon. I definitely appreciate it, and it goes a long way as you try to build a um, platform up. Let's explore for the first time. Uh, definitely sounds misery, sounds depressing. Like, <laughs> But uh, let's check it off the list. Let's check it off the list. I haven't seen a typewriter in forever. I guess it's the same thing, really, as a keyboard, but yeah it's not <laughs> i haven't seen one of those in forever and i think i only seen like one <laughs> which was my grandpa's <laughs> it doesn't look like that cigarette has a filter <laughs> I never seen it sparked up like a match with your finger, with your thumb. I never seen that. <laughs> I haven't. I think we should drive slow. <laughs> I mean, and he by all these mountains. I think we should drive slow. Sheesh. I mean, I guess he's used to driving like this, but I'm scared driving in the snow. The rain, I'm okay, but <laughs> when it's ice, uh-uh. Or it could be ice. Is he even wearing a seatbelt? Now I'm paranoid. <laughs> yeah, he's driving fast. <laughs> uh -uh. Another one by Stephen King. He is so popular. <laughs> he did a lot. <laughs> in his lifetime. Drive, start driving slow, sir, please. Now he over here spinning and... Oh, he about to hydroplane, like... Oh, he about to flip. Sheesh, that was quick. Damn. Damn. And it's in the middle, middle of a blizzard, sir. What made you think you can drive like that? It's beyond me. I hope he makes it. If not, rest in peace. Nobody's going to find him, though. That's out of, It didn't show nobody help him or he didn't get out. It didn't show us. It would still be growing, too. The first printing for Misery's Child was the most ever. Over a million. Misery's Child. Misery Chastain put braces on your daughter's teeth and is putting her through college. Psst. Hmm. Make this work. I might just have something I want on my tombstone. Sheesh. What would you have on a tombstone? <gasps> Sir, I think your tombstone coming. It's coming quick. So was this after? After the meeting? It might have been. I don't even know. Because it wasn't a blizzard when he left, but... Okay, somebody helping him. He ain't dead yet. I was scared from him. I was like, damn, he about to die five minutes into the movie. That's harsh. Ugh, you don't know where his mouth been. But thank God, you an angel. <laughs> a nice person. I was just thinking about germs. <laughs> Why'd he put it in his jacket? Oh, and he just carries them? Okay, well that's so nice. He didn't even call for help. I guess it is a blizzard. Psst. Who is really out here in a blizzard? My name is Annie Wilkes. 
Yeah, she done said it like three times. Okay, so are we here. at a hospital? Take these. This don't look like a hospital. This has hospital equipment in her house. That looks like a bedroom, not a hospital. Okay, I mean, that is nice of her. It is a blizzard, so she's healthy. That's nice. But she carried him? Damn, girl. The blizzard was too strong. I couldn't risk trying to get you there. That's what I was about to say. I tried calling, but the phone lines are down. Okay, it makes sense. It's a blizzard. <laughs> You've got to rest. You almost died. Looks like the sun coming out though, so that should be taking the blizzard away, the snow. Legs. Considering what I had around the house, I don't think there's a doctor who could have done any better. Oh shit, I think he really needs a doctor, not a nurse. It looks purple. You have a compound fracture of the tibia in both legs and the fibula in the right leg is... He might be paralyzed, y'all. Best for your legs to remain immobile. And as soon as the roads open, I'll take you to a hospital. That looks horrible, y'all. That looks bad. To do. That looks bad. I consider it an honor that you'll do it in my home. You consider it an honor and he gets well in your home? I get it for a few days, but ma'am, I think he needs like a doctor, like a doctor, doctor. Well, everybody sure likes those misery books. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you know that uh, Paul's been coming to the Silver Creek Lodge for years to finish his books. I understand he's been up here the last six weeks. No, when there wasn't any word from him, uh, I... Well, you think he might be missing, huh? Nothing's been reported out here, but if anything turns up, I'll call you right back. I mean, she taking care of him, but... Unless it's something I don't know, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't a miracle at all. In a way, I was following. Especially if the lines are down, who's she gonna call? to me you were staying at the silver creek seeing as how i'm your number one fan and all you know where he was staying look up at the light in your cabin and <gasps> i try to imagine what was going on and why would you do that so she like paparazzi <laughs> she obsessed i was on my way home and there you were leaving the lodge now you're alive. So she was stalking you. She was in the process of stalking you. Oh, I've read everything of yours. The what misery the novels. I know them all by heart. Well, I do have a very hard and fast rule as to who reads my stuff at this early stage. Only my editor, my agent, and anybody that saves me from freezing to death in a car wreck. And that's the least he can do. <laughs> she saved his life. Federal Express packages. Anything out of the ordinary. I don't think Mr. Sheldon likes for things to be out of the ordinary. Considering who he is and all famous and all. I bet that old Mustang is pulling into New York right now. He needs a big truck. Right. Thanks, Libby. My pleasure. These are slum kids. I, I was a slum kid. Everybody talks like that. They do not? <clears throat> what do you think I say when I go to the feed store in town? Oh, now, Wally, give me a bag of that effing pig feed. Ma'am, you're taking it too personal. Why is she yelling like that? Oh, Paul, I'm sorry. Oh, hell no. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Sometimes I get so worked up. She like bipolar? Or schizo? Like, what's her problem? Why did she just go? I love you, Paul. <gasps> Paul don't know you. Your mind, your creativity. That's that's all I meant. I hope so, ma'am. Just a little bit overboard. All because you cussed in your book. I thought she was a big fan. I know that's not the first time he cussed in a book. <laughs> when you're in this car, you're not my wife, you're my deputy. 
Okay, Virginia. Stop. Sheriff, don't do that. <laughs> Let your wife be your wife. <laughs> that was hilarious. See that broken limb? Could have been the weight of the snow. Yeah, could have been a rotten branch. Could have been the wind. Could have been a lot of things. Could have been a car. <laughs> I hope they find him. I mean, find the car, obviously, not him. <laughs> I hope they find the car. Need some help? No, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Thank you. I think this is like a little town because it's not a whole lot of people he can call for help, huh? Back up, people to help shovel. <laughs> oh no, it's literally right there, y'all. <gasps> Go down just a little bit more, y'all. You really think Sheldon's out there? I hope not. If he is, he's dead. He ain't dead, but I don't know how this woman is. <laughs> She's starting to be iffy. They almost found the car, y'all. Whoa. <gasps> Go tell him you have a car. Go tell him you found him. What is this? What the hell is this? She didn't get the no help and he needs a doctor. He said as long as there's no infection, you're not in any danger. If you told me he's famous, they should have came and got him in like a helicopter. <laughs> I'm confused. Well, mine's still out, but the ones in town were working just fine. I call that agent of yours. But if you talk to the doctor and the daughters, do you tell them where you live? They have, do they know? I made you my specialty, scrambled eggs a la Wilkes. And I'm on page 75. I have a lot of questions. And all she wants to do is talk about the book. <laughs> what is going on? I mean, I, I know what's going on, but my head cannot wrap around what's her, what's her end game? What's, what's, what's her intentions? Like, <laughs> she just a big fan that so happened to find him in a winter blizzard? No, I'm not buying it. And now she owns a pig? <laughs> she just... She just keeps surprising us. I thought it was time you two should meet. Why do you have a pet peeve? Hello to my favorite beast in the whole world. I sell misery. What's the ceiling that Dago painted? The Sistine Chapel. Yeah, that and misery's child. Those are the only two divine things ever in this world. If you don't go get this man some help, you over here reading his book. I think you need to try like get out the bed. <laughs> I know your legs look horrible, but what the heck? I'm uh, uh done. Yeah. Why didn't you leave the room? He was peeing. Privacy? No privacy. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against marriage per se. But it'd take a pretty special guy to make me want to walk down that aisle again. Man, please go throw the pee away. Why are you holding it and talking? Well, I'd love to stay here and chat, but I'm right at the end. And I gotta find out what happens. I mean, I think he really can just tell you what happens. <laughs> I don't even think she a nurse. <laughs> I don't even think she... But her spirit is the important thing, and misery spirit is still alive. I don't want her spirit! It's a I book! Want her. And you murdered her! You know he's in pain. Oh, she's crazy. Oh, she, she died. She just slipped you away. She didn't 
just slip away. You did it. So what you gonna do? You gonna beat him over a book? Hooray! This is abuse. He, he hurt him. Hey, ma'am. You going to a special place. <laughs> I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words. And don't even think about anybody coming for you. Not your agent. Not your family. <gasps> oh my gosh. You fucking weirdo. <gasps> Why would you let her read the book? Because if I die, you die. Oh no, it's a crazy obsessed fan. Paul, how did we get here? <laughs> Paul, cannot go nowhere y'all. How did we get here? For real. He looks horrible too, like he cannot walk. He's stuck with a crazy person and she leaving. I see why your husband left you, ma'am. You went cray cray. Oh, that pain was like a thousand. Look at him, y'all. That looks like it hurts. Damn, Paul. He has to hurry. If she went into town, it should be a little while, at least 15, 20 minutes. No, man. He too weak. He can't just grab the doorknob. Yes, we're working close with the state police and the FBI's been... <laughs> no, nah, this... This sick. I know this hurts. It'll only take a few seconds. Oh, oh sick, Daisy. Ah. Oh. Oh. It hurts. How about you be in this pain? Call him a cry baby. Look at him. He is swollen. Comfy? Perfect. Such a kidder. No, he's very uncomfortable. And you stuck. Nothing you could do but burn it. My agent made dozens of copies. There's going to be an auction in New York. Every publishing house in New York is reading it now. So if you want me to burn my book, fine. You're not really really I don't think it is. Anything. I think he's lying. That's why you always come back. Hey, she know you too well. You told that story to Merv Griffin 11 years ago. <gasps> she even know who you told it to 11 years ago. Merv Griffin. Can't you see it's what God wants? You're so brilliant, I would think you'd certainly. <gasps> she about to put him on fire, catch him on fire. We're put on this earth to help people, Paul. Like I'm trying to help you. Uh, because you're not getting your way, you're going to burn him alive? This is beyond me. Make it make sense. Yeah, you better do it, sir. She is not playing with you. If you thought she was, she not. This hurts. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> How dare you? <gasps> but they're not going to see us. We're inside the house. The place down there. And that's the Wilkes farm straight ahead. He's he's here. He's here. The Wilkes farm, whatever you just said. Damn, they right here, but they don't know it. No classy. And he shows up without no time. Meanwhile, she has another human in her other <laughs> in the other room. He don't get no TV either. This is torture. Another day. 
what's it like two weeks now? Right. I always wanted to visit the other side of the room. <laughs> the other side of the room. That's all he gets to go, y'all. He don't get to go far. If I knew this was going to be the surprise, I'd have burned all my books. A new book? She's going to make you redo the book. You can go back to doing what you're great at. You're going to write a new novel. Your greatest achievement No, ever. he's not. Misery's return. Eyes. The view will inspire you. You just inhale that. I'll be right back. The view will expire him. His whole body is swollen up, ma'am. He's kidnapped. And you want him to be in peace? I guess you don't get bothered by neighbors much. Don't you worry about that. You'll have total solitude. <laughs> you fooler. Did I do good? I mean, he definitely has patience because if that was me... I'm screaming, I'm yelling, I might be cussing. Matter of fact, I will be cussing. <laughs> like I said, it's one thing you save him, but ma'am, you are literally kidnapping this man. You acting like you called all these people for help and you didn't call nobody. You had a temper tantrum over cuss words and over how his book ended. <laughs> and then we just stuck on her smile like, ma'am, you fucking psycho. <laughs> and he's just... Okay, he's just so patient. Like, how, Paul? How are you this patient? I couldn't. My my anger issues, my anxiety, like, what? <laughs> oh, we. You did great. Are you serious? So we have to play along? <laughs> One little thing. Uh, What's that? I can't work on this paper. It does smudge. <laughs> oh, it does smudge after all. Isn't that fascinating? At least he know what he talking about. What's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. I go out of my way for you. I do everything to try and make you happy. I oh, you bought the wrong paper, Annie. I can't write on this paper. <laughs> I guess we have to be grateful, y'all. Start showing me a little more appreciation around here, Mr. Man. Oh! <gasps> you fucking bitch. <laughs> he just asked for... <sighs> Don't ask for nothing. At least you're learning your lesson as you go. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She going to prison, y'all. She going to prison. And we suing her for her farm. She will no longer have this house. <laughs> Damn, and she did it too though. That's all he needs you to leave. Sheesh. That's horrible, y'all. I never seen a crazy woman like this. I believe it though. Fans can be obsessed with you, but deal. <laughs> Kidnap you, torture you, abuse you. And he in a wheelchair. That's good. More help. <laughs> the two wheels. Where do we go? Can't roll outside. He can't even walk. <laughs> it cannot run nothing. I don't know. Don't make that be your first choice. You in a wheelchair, sir. Phone. That's the best option we have. And she don't have no damn neighbors. <laughs> I would, I would freaking be livid. So upset. And it works. Let's go see. Hurry up. Hopefully it's not just for looks. <laughs> she really be fucking loco. <laughs> it works. It is fake. Oh, she broke it or she poured the thingy out of it, I think. I don't know how those phones work. <laughs> yeah, she fucking crazy. So that's basically for decoration. <laughs> Fucking loco, bro. Damn, she coming back, man. What does that lead to? Pills, <laughs> medicine. 
Okay. I don't know why you want to steal medicine. What you stealing medicine for? How does she get all that medicine is what I want to know. I know she says she's a nurse, but just because you're a nurse don't mean <laughs> they give you bulk. Your color is very hectic. What have you been doing? You know damn well what I've been doing. Trying to get out I've this damn house. Suffering. I need my pill. I want my pain to go away, Annie. She might take that in a different way, so please don't say it like that. It just breaks my heart to see you like this. Mm. It don't break your heart, ma'am. How he been taking showers? Like, I'm just confused. She been washing him too? Because if he's sweating, he has to smell like booty. <laughs> How are you washing his body? In case you think of any ideas. Well, I wouldn't expect it. Don't be silly. We know that he somehow managed to crawl outside his vehicle, but we have been unable to find his body anywhere in the vicinity of the act. That girl threw that man on top of her back and said, <laughs> she's strong. We'll find him after strong the first and hateful. Fall. That is unless the animals didn't get to him first, which is a distinct possibility. Damn, the animals eat him. The hateful woman. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> He's exploding, but he cannot show it. Like, I would just scream every night. <laughs> ah! <laughs> when I was growing up in Bakersfield, my favorite thing in all the world was to go to the movies on Saturday afternoons for the chapter plays. And just before the car went off the cliff, he jumped free. And all the kids cheer. I stood right up and started. Get out of the cock a duty car. And what did your mama do? Did you not get disciplined? Because <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Why do you act like this? But not you. <laughs> not with my misery. And she was young then. She was a kid. Oh, Paul, can I read each chapter when you finish? I can fill in the ends. Will she be your old self now that Ian has dug around? Ma'am, you're not a kid. Love him with that special, perfect love. You'll have to wait. Not even a hint? No. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, Paul. She would love to. It would be an honor. Annie, you going to hell, bro? <laughs> Look, it's a plan with a plan. We know that. I mean, I get it if you're a book lover too. I get that, but gosh, <laughs> she took it too far. And now, it's Jim Taylor. He wants to know who you're having an affair with. Uh, hello, Jim. It's Jim. <laughs> Jim, we've been through this before. If you're gonna have benches out in front of your store, people are gonna wanna sit on them. Well, I don't like them either, but I'm not gonna come over there and tell him to move. I'm give my best to Denise. Bye. Jim just wants his benches yeah, for looks, not is, for sitting. She sure likes to read a lot. Virginia, I'm flattered that you think I've got that much energy. I figured that if I can't find Paul Sheldon, at least I can find out what he wrote about. What do you expect to find? A story about a guy who drove his car off a cliff in a snowstorm? You see, it's just that kind of sarcasm that's given our marriage real spice. <laughs> real spice. <laughs> you keep me entertained. <laughs> She's not trying to get drunk, Paul. <laughs> Drug her. I don't know what it does. If it, I don't think it takes the pain away, I guess. Put her to sleep, maybe. I just picked things up over the years. I thought he took it for pain, though, so. really think so? Oh, absolutely. Listen. Oh, oh. 
my god, what have I done? She didn't even get to drink it. Oh, I ruined your beautiful toast. She didn't even get to drink it. Will you ever forgive me? Here, let me pour another one. Maybe she knew. She got cameras in her house. <laughs> Paul, this is positively the best misery you've ever written. Can I leave now? Where are we getting at? Can he leave? Where are they at in Alaska? <laughs> it just stay with snow. Sheesh. How many chapters does it have? I have questions. But now I know I love the rest oh, of no. I mean, we thought you loved him anyway, so that wasn't a surprise. Don't, don't say you do. Don't. Your legs are getting better. He should have been left. Paul. <laughs> well, I could hear. That's very kind of you. I think you better. You freaking psycho. Ma'am! <laughs> now we have to stay up all night being more paranoid. <laughs> Damn, you better make your escape tonight. She said she putting bullets in it. Damn. This how the rain make you really feel, Annie? And she just left in a robe. She gonna get sick. <laughs> Ammonia. Yeah, it's time to, tonight is the night, Paul. She letting you know, it is what it is. Nurse behind bars arrested for recent baby's death. You sick bitch. You sick bitch. I had a feeling she killed her husband, but killing babies? Ma'am, you gotta go. <laughs> Tonight, the Lord gave me permission <laughs> to do his work. Because, <laughs> damn it. Nah, she been killing people. And he slept in. You sleeping too comfortable. Get up. Oh, it's still nighttime. <laughs> I thought it was the next morning. It is. She about to kill him during his sleep. Ain't no way. Because why are we seeing him right now? What is... Oh, you crazy bitch. She know what she doing. She's not... Yeah, you playing with a woman that's been doing this. This your first rodeo. And it should be because... What the fuck? <laughs> Dog make him wicked. And he is knocked out, y'all. I don't know what she doing, but she is in full control, like always. Paul, you fucked up, man. I know you've been out twice, Paul. First, I couldn't figure out how you did it. But last night, I found your key. It was in his pants. That means you went through his pants and touched his junky junks? <laughs> I can imagine what you might be thinking of me. But you see, Paul, it's all okay. Last night, it came so clear. I realize you just need more time. Eventually, you'll come to accept the idea of being here. Paul, do you know about the early days at the Kimberly Diamond Mines? Bro. Whatever you think I'm not doing, please don't, please do, don't it. do it to him. <laughs> He's so innocent. A fucking sledgehammer, bitch. A sledgehammer, though. Trust me. God. Please don't touch him with this. going down I don't know how cuz he weak he ain't never going back to normal he ain't never getting his legs back she fucked him up for life Come on. I'm <laughs> we think a lot 
like. Cookie yes. <laughs> How many of y'all flipped her off too? Let me know that down in the comments. Put the flipping emoji off. <laughs> Forget Annie. Hey, she think this a game, bitch. This ain't no game. <laughs> this real life. <laughs> Type yes. Well, that kind. Nothing odd about that. Ms. Wilkes done something? Yeah, she did. A lot of things. Yes, let's go. But get your wife. Like, tell somebody where you going. Don't just be clueless, sir. I'd be so upset if he go to that woman house by himself and dies. <laughs> he don't get to help, Paul. Because I would die inside. Like, I would for real just die inside, bruh. And where are the other cops? Where's the other sheriffs? We have not seen no more than them two. And look. Is this her? I think this her. It's not her. Bitch, fight. Damn. He asleep now. He can't yell. Scratch her. Scratch her. No, scratch her on the face. Scratch her on the face. Pull her hair. Scratch her on the face. So the police can know there's something wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you, but... You didn't give me a chance to knock. I guess you can tell from my reaction I'm not all that used to visitors out here. What can I do for you? Well, I was wondering, do you happen to know anything about Paul Sheldon? What do you want to know? Well, anything you could tell me might help. Well, he was born in Worcester, Massachusetts 45 years ago. The only child of Franklin and Helene Sheldon. Mediocre student, majored in history. Well, that, that isn't exactly the kind of information I'm after. You see, he's been missing for... Quite some time now, and I, I know it's so upsetting. I'm his number one fan. I've got all his books. Ever that means you should be worried. I'm so proud of my Paul Sheldon collection. Well, <laughs> here I am prattling on, and my manners have just flown away. I haven't invited you in. Please. Thank you. Don't go in her house, sir. By your. Of course, you must know all about that. Unless you got a gun. Accident. <laughs> Mind if I take a look around? Of course I not. I hope you got a gun. That accident almost killed me, too. I prayed when I heard the news. I got down on my knees and I begged for it not to be true. You're going to laugh at what I'm about to say, but go ahead. I don't care. When I was praying, God told me to get ready. Get ready for what? To be his replacement. He gave so much pleasure to so many people. I could give you a couple of hundred pages of mine and you could tell me what you think. Mm, I'm not much of a critic. Well, I just thought. Oh, look at me. You'd think I'd never had a guest before. Would you like a nice hot cup of cocoa? She behind you. What are you doing? Do you see anything? Here you are. I thought she was about to give him the needle. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Yeah, you best be going. You didn't even taste your cocoa. And we don't want to. You kill people, babies, anybody. Get away with it. Help! Help! No, don't go in. Get your gun out. Get your gun out. Here! I'm down here! But where's Mrs. Wilkes? That's a problem. Where's she at? Mr. Sheldon? Yeah. Ho ho through that through that old man's body. But it must be so that misery can live. We have the power to give misery eternal life. You need a cigarette because you used to smoke, but you quit, except when you finish a book and you have just one. And the match is to light it, and you need one glass of champagne. Dom Perignon. Why does she know all of this? <laughs> Damn, too many interviews. This time we'll need two glasses. Oh, Paul. <laughs> but you know you're here, so what makes you think like you just want him to say that? You're invited. 
<laughs> you're welcomed. No, ma'am. You're real sick. <laughs> Delusional. I think you better hurry because you don't have no time. What the hell? I guess we don't have no time. What the hurry, hurry. Do it like you always do with you. What you feel? Don't wait for her. Just do it. Why would you wait? What what if it don't work? Remember how for all those years nobody knew who Misery's real father was? Or if they'd ever be reunited? Okay. It's all right here. <laughs> hey, he dead ass wrong. It's the end of the book, bitch. You'll never Paul, know. You this is the end for us, too. Why not? <laughs> I learned it from you. Right. You're crazy, ho. <laughs> and he does it again to another book. He burns it. <laughs> nah, that should have knocked her out. She ain't even bleeding. He <laughs> in a wheelchair rolling towards her. <laughs> I hope it's the other way around, damn it. Come on, come on, Paul. We've been working for this for months. He has a story to tell for real this time. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> I cannot. Look at the piggy. You about to die with the piggy. Misery. <clears throat> I know that hurt it. How do you blame him, ma'am? She really thought she was in the right to do all of this. How was she out of prison? How did she get out of prison? <laughs> of the hospital. This, this was a horror movie. 18 months later, I don't even think it says that. It's this drama and thriller. Hell no, nah, this was scary. <laughs> How is he even walking? I mean, I guess he's walking with a cane, but. Hey, Marsh, if I'd have known you better, I think you were suggesting I dredge up the worst horror of my life just so we can make a few bucks. <laughs> yeah. Look, he's still traumatized over her. He's seeing her still. <laughs> Even though I know she's dead. I still think about it once in a while. It's every day. Are you Paul Sheldon? Yes. No, I'm not. I just want to tell you I'm your number one fan. Bitch, bye. <laughs> nah, that's not how you react no more. <laughs> At this point, uh-uh. It's life or death this time with all your fans. That's very sweet of you. Now, somebody else, cool, because they never experienced this. But when it comes to you, Paul, shut shit down quick. <laughs> Simple and sweet. Hi, bye. I can no longer talk. You know sign language? Because <laughs> what? I would never, ever, ever <laughs> put myself in that situation again. This was, this was crazy, y'all. Like, nah, this was real life sick. I didn't think, you know, what is this leading to? We in one bedroom, a whole scene, you know, all the way through the movie, we in one house, literally two characters besides, you know, the sheriff. So it's just like, come on, what is this leading to? But nah, it, it drew you in, it kept you, it kept you invested. Damn, rest in peace to Sheriff JT, Virginia, damn, we didn't even get to see her grief of her husband dying because he was a good character too, like, he was the main character too. He was trying to find him, he did, and he died for it. Damn. But they play their part. The characters, yeah, they played it to the T. Did they win an award for this? Because in real life, ma'am, if I see you in anything else, I'm going to think you crazy. <gasps> she the woman from um Green Fried Tomatoes. We watched it. I think it's on my Patreon, too. It keeps getting blocked on YouTube, so I'm going to try to edit it again. It keeps getting blocked, but that's the heifer. That's the fucking heifer. <laughs> I was about to say, if I see her in any other movie, I'm going to just call her a psycho right off the bat. But, yeah. Yeah, this is crazy. We're juggling the elements of surprises. We don't know what's going to happen. We know she's crazy, though, so anything can happen. 
And like I said, misery loves company. That's the saying, right? Damn. Sad, sad, Paul. But you came across one of your number one fans and she she, she was going to have you. One way or another, she was going to have you and she was going to die having you too. It says this is another Stephen King. Yeah. Damn, Stephen, you know what you're doing. <laughs> Sheesh, I want to know what Stephen King looked like. I don't even know what that man looked like. I'm going to have to look that up. But damn, Paul and Annie, y'all played y'all part. It's going to have to get a 10 out of 10 for me because I have never seen something like this. And I'm still trying to wrap around my head. How do we get in this situation? How did we get out the situation? Although we already seen it. I just, I cannot wrap it all the way around my head. This was crazy. I can never unsee or like, I will always remember this. Came out in 1990s. Yeah, this was good writing. This was a good build up. Sheesh. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel. Could you rewatch it? How did you feel about the first time you've seen it? When she waved through the window, was you like this? Like Paul and me? <laughs> What's well, crazy? I do have the full interaction. I do have the full interaction on the Patreon. So go join me over there as we try to build the platform up. Don't forget to smash that button, guys. Hit that red one. It helps your homegirl out as we explore movies and TV shows. Check them off the list. I appreciate y'all. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I definitely did. Ooh-wee. Let's go.